Hi, so in the previous video I made graphene from graphite using T. In this one I'm going to make graphene from graphene oxide using T. Now T is really popular, particularly as a reduction agent, because mm, it's non-harmful. We drink gallons of it. It's not like using really strong reducing agents and harsh chemicals. It's T for crying out loud. So what harm can you possibly do? So it's very popular in a movement called green chemistry. And green chemistry is all about um, getting reactions to work, getting useful things out of stuff without using harmful chemicals, with using stuff that's around you. And um, they're using some really amazing things to do some amazing jobs, particularly in graphene oxide reduction. They're using things like tea and plant extracts, things like acacia leaves, and even orange peel will do it. Um, but we're going to do green tea. Now I popped down to the local supermarket and bought myself some green tea bags and got some green tea extract out of it. Now that sounds great, but what I did was <laughs> fill a jar with 200 millilitres of water stick a couple of tea bags in it and stir it for half an hour and there is my green tea extract. Now this can be used to reduce graphene oxide like I said. And what I've got here is some graphene oxide. Now I made this again in the previous video using a tour method and it's 45 micron uh, flake graphite reduced into graphene oxide you via the tour and then left to dehydrate a little bit so I've got 75 millilitres there and it's around about 5 grams of graphene oxide in there so it's pretty concentrated. Now I don't want a very concentrated graphene solution, I want something like about half a milligram or so, something like that. So into my 200 millilitres what I have to do is add 3 millilitres of my graphene oxide and that's all I'm going to do. So there we go, three millilitres of graphene oxide and give that a stir up. Now all I have to do with this is heat it at 90 degrees for 10 hours and stir it while I'm heating it. Now that's quite a long time, so that will boil off. You need to keep your eye on it and every now and then top it up with some hot distilled water. And that um, should reduce down to graphene in about 10 hours of stirring time. So I'm going to go off and do that, because that's obviously an awful long time, and then get back to you. Hi, so this is a break after two and a half hours of stirring. So I thought I'd just show you how it's going after two and a half hours. And you can see it's changed from the brown looking uh, liquid into this really quite black. Now it's going to get blacker than that, but obviously the green tea is reducing that nicely. So there it is after only 10 hours of stirring at 90 degrees. Now, in there is only green tea and graphene oxide, remember, so there is an amazingly safe and green way of creating your graphene. Now, from the previous experiment we did making graphene directly in tea, we know that the tea will act to keep that graphene in solution. And you have to remember, although that's jet black, there is actually only half a gram per litre in there. So it's a pretty dilute concentration, and it's now ready to do some other bits and pieces with it. Anyway, I thought that was absolutely fascinating, so I thought I'd share it with you, and I hope you enjoyed it too, and thank you for watching.